Farms are great places to grow up. But in Northern Ireland, many children living on farms have been hurt and even killed. And those accidents they had could have been avoided. Look at this beast. It's as tall as a house. The wheels are almost two meters high. If this monster hits you, it will do as much damage as a double-decker bus. It's as powerful as a sports car and has loads of gadgets like sat-nav, aircon, and a computer. The farmer needs all these things because he's working here all day long. I'd love to get in there, but I can't. If you're under 13, it's against the law to drive or even ride on agriculture machinery. That includes tractors. Once you're 13, if you pass a driving course, then you can drive a tractor. It's also against the law to be a passenger in a tractor if you're under 13. From up there in the cab, we look pretty small, a long way away. Sometimes it's hard to see as well. The tractor's so big and high that there's a huge area around the tractor in which the driver is blind to us. He just simply can't see us if we're standing close by. He wouldn't even know you were there. I said, tractors are really loud. When the driver is in the cab and the engine is running, he can't hear a thing. So there's no point shouting if something goes wrong. He won't be able to hear you. And if the driver can't hear you, and he can't see you, then there's nothing he can do to avoid hitting you. Fast-moving machinery has injured and killed lots of people on farms. PTO shafts drive heavy machinery, like slurry mixers. The cover should always be on the PTO. Your hair or your clothes could get caught in the machinery. Can you imagine what would happen? If you see a machine or a tractor with its engine running and no one is about, stay well away and make sure other kids keep away too. It's never safe to walk on a roof. It's made to keep out the rain, not to take someone's weight. It's a long way down from there. Don't be tempted to climb a ladder. If you can climb it, you can fall off it. We've talked about us falling off things. But things can also fall on us.
This is a toy. It's for having fun with. This is a quad. It's for farm work. We are not old enough or strong enough to ride it. You have to be 16 and trained to ride a quad like this. You should never hit a ride on a quad bike. Animals on a farm can be really dangerous. You never know what they might do. You have to be calm and quiet around them. Cows can turn on you, especially if they have their calves with them. They're a lot heavier and stronger than you are and could really hurt you if they felt threatened. A bull can appear to be quiet, but can turn on you at any moment. He can run at 40 miles per hour and can easily catch you. He's a killer. That's all the slurry. All the waste from the animals is collected during the winter. Slurry gas is a mixture of gases, including hydrogen sulfide. It's extremely poisonous to people and animals. That's what the horrible smell is. Yes, it stinks. We never go into sheds when slurry is being mixed. It's not safe. You could be overcome by the fumes and fall into the tank. Slurry tanks like this can be up to three meters deep. That's twice the height of you and me. If you fell in, you'll not be able to get out. No one will hear you, you'll drown. And if someone tried to rescue you, the same thing could happen to them. Never take chances around the slurry tank. Always wash your hands after feeding or touching animals. They can carry nasty diseases, which can pass on to humans. We all love having friends over, but some kids aren't used to farms and don't know the dangers. Find a safe place to have fun. Farms are awesome places to live, but
But accidents do happen, and it's important to know the dangers. All farm accidents are sad, but the saddest thing is they can be prevented. Staying safe is about making sure you can still have fun without hurting yourself or others. Most of it's just common sense, really. Enjoy the farm as much as you can, but more than anything, stay, stay safe. safe.